What's up everyone, it's Tim here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video, I want to show you how to convert any Figma design into Flutter code. Not just Flutter code, but also React or any other code you might think of. So uh, as you can see, this is our Figma file in front of us and we have it right here in the layers as well. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to right click on the file, make sure the file is yours, make sure you're not actually sharing the file. Uh, or it's not a shared file uh, in terms of, you know, somebody sharing it with you. It needs to be your file and then you should simply go to plugins and go manage plugins. From here, basically just type in code T and then you will get this plugin right here, which is called image to Figma or not actually this one, but this one Figma to code. So click on that one. Uh, you will just need to log in in another, uh, in another, uh, tab which is called codet.io as you can see i've logged in here and basically these are all the frameworks that you can uh, you know import your design into or transform transform your design from figma to to the frameworks and then what you want to do is you want to obviously go and type in what you want to do so first i select this one and i go view full source and please choose mobile screen frames. So as you can see, uh, error empty frames, please choose frames that has minimum width of uh, under or equal to 300. So uh, as you can see, I don't have this right here. So what we can do is we can go back to my Figma and I actually have uh, here uh, something similar uh, that is uh, more so like on a mobile screen. So let's open this one up. And as you can see, we have this one. For example, let me just uh, scroll in and then we can go here and we have plugins, we have code T and then we can go with Flutter. And as you can see, this is the layer that we selected. So this is the layer that we want. Obviously, we can choose um, as many layers as we want. If you hold shift and if you uh, put multiple layers, it will basically give all the layers. So we just want one layer for now. So let's just use the register step to one flutter and let's view full source and then as you can see we will open up uh, or we will have a new tab that will open up and then here as you can see uh, it will be prototyping in figma just allow access this is very important if you want this to work correctly and then as you can see it will take a bit of time and then right here we will have prototyping. See here we can see the source code. So if you go to source code, we'll be able to see the source code of the project as well. Um, so it needs to load up just a little bit. And as you can see here, we have a source code. And uh, I mean, this can be changed, right? Depending on the new screen, uh, right? So if you have a new screen, you can also prototype this in Figma, which is really great. And then you can add multiple different, uh, you know, things inside and then here once you cl cl uh, click source code you will have uh, react or you will have you know uh, flutter code design so you also have components as well so for those of you that are you know uh, new you can also change the components as well right here so that's something that you can do so um, again these are a couple of things that you can do obviously one more thing or one more app that you can use is you can go to plugins and you can manage plugins as you and use builder io so just type in builder io and if you click on it you will be able to for example click on the you know again like a uh, low auto layout usage apply auto layout to layers to prevent layout uh, layout issues okay and then we can also export this to code uh, we can also map our code and components to generate code from our designs we can also do that so this is another app or another plugin that you can use for this and as you can see, um, it's called Builder IO. And as you can see, this is how it's going to look like. And then you can go to develop and you can generate a code. Uh, a code can be React, it can be Vue, it can be, you know, um, I think you have Flutter right here, yeah, in beta, which will be better over time. So if you are looking for an AI alternative to the app that I just showed, this is the best alternative. So you click generate code and it will generate the code based on this right here sometimes it does not work so you'll have to refresh this uh, the web page but this is pretty much how uh yeah how it is and how you can create this um you know uh how you can turn 
or convert Figma design into Flutter code. So one thing to note though, that, uh, you know, if you want uh, to learn more about Builder IO, we have a full tutorial on that on our channel and other AI apps on our, on our channel as well. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find it useful and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.